What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. <clears throat> we about to get into James Wright on process on processing the Krishan incident. I will wake up out of my sleep crying and not knowing why. The therapist said it's trying mentally. I was thinking about it in my sleep. Let's get into it. A situation that you went through. I guess. And um, it was very shocking. Mm -hmm. That's something that you had to go through, you know, publicly. Publicly. You didn't really have time to cope. It was out quick. It was out very quickly. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? I be getting emotional when I talk about this. Um, because because right. I did not understand. Ooh, okay, it's all over the place. Okay, so I'm, I'm still trying to figure out why this happened. Why did this happen to me? I wasn't in an argument with anyone. I wasn't going back and forth or arguing with anyone. None of that took place. Now, what I walked in on was that with mm -hmm. other people, not me. When I got in there, I was consoling the person, like, because the person was crying. I'm like, why are you crying? What happened? And when the story got explained to what happened, I was like, oh. Everybody's mouth literally dropped. When I, like, came back to it, everybody's mouth was still like, this is the, the part I want to talk about, the processing part. I would wake up, wake up out of my sleep crying, shut up, and not knowing why. So when I contacted the therapist, she said, it's true, will wake you up out of your sleep. Mentally, I was thinking about it in my sleep. Right. Because I still don't know. I don't bother nobody. I don't argue with people. I don't get online and cut up and do what everybody else is doing. Oh, Jesus. I'm trying not to get emotional. Can we get some tissues? I'm trying not to get emotional. It's a couple of days after I was like, Lord, I'm, you suck. I didn't understand why this happened to me. Because the thing is, I could have lost my life. You know the right? Hit you, you could be out of here. Out. It could right. have been a lot worse. Brain dead, vegetable, right. anything. Yeah. And we know that you and Tamar are very good friends. Mm -hmm. And she eventually did speak out, but a lot of people were saying, Why didn't she speak out a lot sooner? Now, for you, how did you feel like when she did speak out? Did you feel like she did the right thing for you as um, far as the situation? I wasn't going to speak out. Even a week later, she was still in shock. She called me every day, every second, every minute, every hour, every like. Because sometimes in situations like that, you don't know what to say. You don't. Yeah. Especially when it's no reason for it. When I go to sleep, I still see the moment. Like, I still see the moment. Yeah, it's going to take a <clears throat> I mean, that's not something that you just get over. You don't. You know? But as a strong black woman. Mm -hmm. That you, you, you are. You keep it push it and keep it moving. <laughs> right. You're still taking legal actions. You're still. You know, you got to. Let me tell you. God don't play with me. For real. He don't play with me for real. That's right. For real. He don't play down. with you. Mm -hmm. He don't, but uh, he likes to joke a little bit. There is a situation that you went through. All right, y'all. Before we get into what he just said, I want to say, first of all, first and foremost, I hate that he had to experience that. We're not going to play the alleged game. Clearly, it happened. She's going to court for it happening. He's doing interviews now about it happening. And there's some emotion there about it happening. To the point where you can't sleep. That's sad. That's terrible. And karma comes back around, unfortunately. Hence is why Krishan is dealing with what she's dealing with right now. And I'm not being petty. That's not a shot. It's just the truth, unfortunately. What you put out into the universe, you get back. Um, it doesn't seem like she has experienced a lot of karma here lately. So it's probably coming for her ass. All right? I want to put that out there. Um, also, I hate that he has to deal with that unwarranted truth. Um, cause it's just not called for. Now, what I want to say is in that position, y'all, I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't have tried to console her. Um, but I've learned in along the way of life to not console people at certain times to not, especially not to touch people, not to get in a space, not to answer certain phone calls and not to call at certain times because hurt people hurt people, unfortunately. And they always go after the one that was trying their best to help them. So with that being said, I just wouldn't have. Um, also, when everybody was getting a cackle on Krishan's demise at that moment, she's drunk as hell, lost, not knowing where she at, not knowing what she doing, looking a hot ass. Also, just probably elated at the fact that they're not allowing her to perform which she thought that she would be which was a huge misunderstanding from tamar braxton which tamar shouldn't have never invited her begged her pleaded for her to come in the first place and i stand on that at 35 
I stand on that. Um, no reason for a 45-year-old to beg a 23-year-old to come to a show full of older people. And at the time, I said prominent. I said legends. I absolutely take that back. And the reason why I take it back, because Tamar has actually been one of the most ratchet um, here lately, um, especially since that whole Krishan debacle. She's been very much so all over the place with that man, with her business, with her friends. Yeah. Legend part, I'm going to go ahead and take that back. I would never take away from Toni Braxton, though. No. She is a legend regardless of her shady looks and her shady ways, all right? And her husband of choice, which would be Birdman. But anyway, so with that being said, um, I believe him when he says... Uh, that it, it wakes him up out of his sleep because that's all he thinks about because it was unwarranted. He also probably is upset at himself at the fact that he tried to console her in that moment. He probably regrets the fact of trying to console her at that moment um, because he, I don't think he knew the climate of the conversation. Also, like I said, as shady as everybody was being, um, it would form some type of aggression from a person, you know? Um, and I completely understand why Krishan would feel a way because you, she wasn't able to perform and things like that, but not to put hands on a soul. Okay. Also, I want to say the reason why I disagreed in the beginning was because it wasn't any video and that friend that they allegedly had, or uh, whatever that nigga name is, he blew the whole operation. Uh, James said he didn't want to come out and say nothing. Ridiculous. It wasn't even his story to tell. So anyway, outside of that, um, I completely understand where he is coming from. And I wish uh, that didn't happen. Point blank period. Um, you know, Krishan is trying to change her life and she going to go through a lot of karma. That Them trying to break in or trying to rob his dad or whatever. Yeah. That ain't the only thing she has coming her way. And don't get me wrong, I ain't trying to put nothing on nobody. But karma is a bit, unfortunately. So, um, you know, you do unto others that will happen to you. You know what I'm saying? So it's unfortunate that she's going to have to deal with, you know, some repercussions for doing this to this man. And, you know, he's acting as if he's rather perfect, you know, and nobody's perfect. Um, but... I, I believe he had good intentions. So that's what I have to say about that. Uh, I do want to read some of these comments. If the roles were reversed, people would be outraged. She should definitely pay that man his pain at bare minimum. Yes, I agree. And hell, I wish she would just say I'm sorry. You know, I think an apology would go a long way. But the fact that she won't even apologize is kind of wicked. Not going to lie. Um, before y'all start, everyone didn't grow to fighting like wild animals. It could be both tr and triggering to get attacked by someone, no matter the size or gender. And I, you know, I didn't bring gender in this, um, for a reason. Uh, quite frankly, I do wish she would have kind of, you know, her a little bit. Um, but that would have caused so much more issues because he would have been the, the bad guy. Um, and he has a right to feel triggered. Because it was unwarranted, and he don't seem like he a bust a grape, child. So I agree with that comment. Uh, I'm sorry, James. It seems like your mouth couldn't keep up with Krishan's hands that night. <laughs> Words hurt, and when people can't use them like you, they will boo bop your ass. Next time, be careful. That was a terrible message. Um, he's going for that check. Laugh my ass off, sir. Please stop it right now. Check. Not going to clear. Laugh my ass off. Stop acting like you ain't been in a fight. I'll be on the same shit, though. Somebody said, come on now. What I heard is cut my check. Somebody says soft. And that's terrible. That's terrible. Because poor black man. Um, dragging this out. That's been happening. Eons softy for real. Or I guess son softy for real. Um, Carlissa, <laughs> that, that doesn't say anything. Um, y'all are not well. If he had did this to her and the roles were reversed, y'all yeah, okay. He trying to get a check. Oh, please. It was a punch. I got up by a big A 12th grade boy when I was in sixth grade and I'm not trying and I slept perfectly. <laughs> Listen. 
<laughs> I can't argue with a person like that. But that don't mean that he wouldn't experience that type of trauma. That's terrible. Oh, please. It was a, okay. Um, I don't care what it looked like. If you're, if you put your hands on me, it's not nobody that could tell me to not handle it. Nah, facts. I ain't gonna, I would have punched Krishan dead in the mouth. I would have gave her the exact same energy she gave me, man, male or female. I don't know what y'all talking about with that. He, she, you shouldn't hit a woman. You punch me in my face with them rings on and I came too. Like he's saying like, I could have died. Like, come on, James. Um, not saying people can't die in a fight. Not saying people haven't. I'm just saying I would have knocked her ass out. I would have knocked her out. It would have started with the left, came back with the right. And then one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. On her ass is what I would have did. But here we are. Um, that's really all I got to say about that. This could be long winded and drawn out it, i feel like it already has been and she just needs to go ahead and pay that man that money and everybody move on about their business y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below i am done with this video love y'all appreciate y'all hell yeah